Hello and welcome to this presentation. We are going to be considering foundation design of this steel bridge in this video. But before we proceed, I want you to get this book, Structural Foundation Designers Manual. It is free of charge. Okay. Uh, Soft Region Channel. I have a group chat, WhatsApp group chat. Okay. That you can just have to join to be able to access this book. Okay. So the link for the group chat is in the description of this video so check the description of the video and then join the group uh, chat and then you will see this book already posted in the group chat successfully so let us proceed okay so we will be considering the foundation design successfully in this video here we go so we are going to be considering buoyant type of foundation okay it is going to be a boya foundation design that is a I know floating raft, okay? Or the other name for it is floating raft foundation. So we're going to be designed using the finite element method of analysis to carry out the design, okay? And then we will explain the situations where this steel bridge is to be built across water. What we have to do, okay, to the foundations to make it more solid, all right? And then when it is to be built on land successfully. So Okay, so let's make progress. Before we proceed, we need to navigate to the story zero right here. So I will double click on story zero. Mind you, the product structure we use it is plan structure version 2022. You can see over there. Okay, so we get to the plan view of uh, the foundations successfully, just like this. So now you can see the line of the it's a setting out line okay from the line three grid line one right there at the setting out line okay so this grid line seven and eight okay is being offset due to the foundation design okay so now it is being offset from grid line three right click and click on the offset right here move your hand this way hold the shift f2 right there okay and then key in the distance that is how this grid line eight and seven we are obtained successfully so we proceed at this point in time we are replacing the reinforcement we snap to we are going to be considering okay for our floating raft foundation for this uh, steel bridge successfully so we get there to the modeling tab click on the slab right there so in the slab dialog we need to do a few settings the slab thickness we'll be considering is going to be a slab thickness of uh, 250 all right 250 millimeters uh, slab thickness okay then um we will navigate to the load okay for the uh you know we'll use the lower uh, slab right there options okay so that will generate a simple weight of 60 kilonewton per square meters right there as you can see we press spread to the um uh, unit weight of concrete successfully for the dead load additional dead load we just applied um three kilonewtons right there and then for the impulse load we will choose an impulse load of uh, uh we can decide to use uh this one okay 7.5 okay kilo duty impulse load all right so after which we start to place the uh, slab successfully at this foundation level but we may choose an instruction method so you have to navigate to the general tab and then you navigate to uh, this provision change it to a uh, big axis or big point in of this works fine okay so let's go by big axis option so we are going to be picking the axis that is bounded by the slab we are about to insert so we choose the fourth axis which is axis f right there okay after getting that selected you see in the instructions provisions of this dialogue can see the f right there being placed so we choose axis f right there axis a right there and axis seven right there okay we'll go straight away to choose axis f to have our uh slab inserted just like this you can see it's something applicable here so we have to get rid of the uh previous instructions uh axis and then we start afresh from nine and then we go ahead f right there okay then ten then a and nine again to have that exact successfully so here we go you can see if i should uh close this dialog and then navigate to the 3d of this model now you will see that uh, we have our okay foundations this is a uh, raft okay so although we have not designed it yet but we will kind of design shortly 
All right. So now, if this structure is to be built on land, this is okay. This design is enough. Okay. If you have to build this structure on land, this uh, foundation design is enough. Okay. Except if there is uh, any punching, if you are experiencing any punching, you can apply it an additional footings under these uh, columns, provisions, or you can as well increase the thickness of the floating raft successfully so as to cater for the punching successfully. Okay, but if you have to construct this uh, steel bridge across the waterway, what you have to do is uh, you need to provide an embankment. Okay. An embankment uh, so, uh, such as retaining wall around it. So, what you do now, navigate the green lines to the story one, okay, just like this, and then you can proceed to get to the plan view of the story one straight away to the walls right there. Click right there on the wall, okay. So, in the wall dialog, you or have to set the wall, um, you know, thickness right there, right? So, we go by this thickness, so you just have to place the wall just. Uh, like this okay so this wall now is going to serve as a returning wall this is going to actually like a retaining wall which is going to be preventing the water sea water from you know intersecting with the foundations directly okay so having placed this successfully you need to also have an additional uh, station of the stab, okay? So we will proceed to the slab provisions right there. Click on the slab right there, and then you come over to this. Uh, the thickness of the slab we maintain 250, all right? And then to get over to these provisions, we use lower slab, and then we use 7.5, okay? After which, come over to general, and then the type of slab is going to be this uh, cantilever slab. So you will choose cantilever length of uh, just 500 for the sake of these presentations. Okay, after which you just have to start placing it. Mind you, we are not at the foundations right away, so we can place it here. We are story one, so you have to close this or you navigate to the story server right here at the foundation. Here, you proceed the same procedure and then you have to also take note that at the foundations there is no way you can place a wall okay so you don't place your wall while at the foundations using product structure okay so now we proceed with the slab click right there so we also have to set the slab thickness and then over to the loadings you use lower options and then you right click and you will have to navigate to this uh, you know, value of the post load, get over to the general, and then we choose this cantilever slab, come over to these provisions, the length is going to be 500, okay, just like this, if you want to apply an additional load, you can apply additional load here, yeah? but in this case, we wouldn't apply any additional load, so you pick the first point, pick the second point, move your hand outward, and place it, so the same thing in this other phase, of these uh was successfully and they have that okay so the same thing applicable here right so this is how you actually provide uh, support uh cantilever slab to the wall successfully just like this okay so having done this you can now navigate to the 3d so at the 3d now you have something of this kind all right so this is an options we are you have to you know uh, construct this bridge across a waterway okay this is recommended okay so what you do after construction see all of these provisions have to be filled mind you you have to take cognizance of the water level okay water level very very important you have to study that and ensure that this is being taken care of all right so at this point we cannot proceed to cut out the analysis okay so the analysis, just as I said earlier, is going to be a finite element analysis. But by then, we have to run a normal static analysis, okay? So to run a normal static analysis, you use these options. And then for the FE, which is the finite element, okay, we use this option. So before we proceed, you have to save this project. Click on the save options right here. So this has been saved successfully. Click on building analysis. 
We will run this analysis and observe analysis completed. Okay, so we proceed. Click in this options analysis options just like this, and then building analysis straight away. So this is going to pop up a dialog just like this. Okay, which requesting us whether we are to analyze and design at once. We just want to analyze. We will design our members later. Okay, so click on build analysis right there. So analysis have already started. Okay. So, and this is aesthetic analysis, as you can see over in this analysis type in this provisions. Okay, aesthetic analysis. So, let's give the program some second to carry out this uh, structural analysis successfully. Mind you, in the process, if you have any questions, you can drop it in the comment section as well. If you drop it in the group chat, okay, that will be more effective because. Uh, various views we actually look at it and then give you what you actually wanted as the uh, answers to your questions successfully okay so the link to join the group is in the description of this video so analysis is completed successfully but let's just wait for it to bring and pop up the final statement and message okay so let the story draft satisfy limit so everything is fine with this structure click on the ok options Okay, after which it will be view this structure maybe the analytical model of this structure you can go to post analysis and then you can use this option to display an analytical model so it was click it you take you it will take you to the analytical uh, uh, interface okay here yeah, you can actually check for your bed moment your shell force and the stress on the structure okay depending on the dead load depending on the life load as well as the wind load if applied successfully okay so here we go this is the analytical model of this structure so this is what we actually have okay as the analytical model right there okay so you can't check the animations of that okay so you cannot see right okay so we may progress now we proceed let's do this so over here on this uh, icon build analysis you see it has been checked okay with green uh check right there so for the fe foundation analysis we still have a recross meaning that has not been done so what we need to do navigate to the story zero okay and this story zero right there okay and you have to proceed to the plan view of that story so we can carry out the foundation design double click on the story zero so here is the story zero so we will carry out the uh fe uh, foundation design right away so what you have to do click on this fe foundation design so once click on that okay you will have all of this okay settings so you can consider being torsional stiffness within our beam in this structure so you can uncheck these provisions okay you include column sections in fe model yes we can go by that it's not an issues okay so that as well uh look at your shift the shell element okay the sizes we go by this and then we click on the floor match and analysis okay so pro as 2022 is actually being improved okay it's been improved on like uh pro structure uh 20 uh 21 and then the lower versions okay this has been improved and then designing a finite element analysis uh, process is now more easier all right so here we go these are the structure and the foundations okay or the substructure of this uh steel bridge okay so at this point click on the okay options so to have uh, this perform analysis click on the okay options okay so analysis is been completed okay so you can see over here so what you need to do is to design okay the moment the displacement as well design and okay provide the area of steel successfully to do that you have to click on the uh, display analytical model this option so click this options so having click on these options you have this okay so once you have this okay so you can see now uh this is the foundations of this structure okay so we want to be designing this for us to do that you get over to the contour 
tab right here the contour tab right there so click on that tab and then you have uh, this contour use the user define contour and then trace or contour okay all of this has meaning all right but we'll be using the first options okay so what we need to just have to click on the first options so once you click on the uh, first options you can see the changes that we have in here you can as well get uh, this uh, this uh minimize <clears throat> so we can have enough provisions all right so now you can see the effect so what we just have to be doing is to be clicking on the effect uh provisions we will look at the displacement in the x the y so you don't have to be clicking on that and then with the help of this uh key right here okay so you can be able to know where the pressure is being intense okay on this uh, foundation so the, the z direction displacement and also forces in the f uh 11 22 and 12 okay so you have to also check that successfully okay but what thing that is certain is that uh, you really have to disturb yourself but these are the things you are supposed to do moment okay in the local axis m1 m2 and m12 torsional moment okay you check all of that and then design moment using wood and armor okay you have to also check that and the required three area okay in the local axis direction one direction two okay and then top direction one and direction two as well okay so these are the things that are necessary for us to carry out and the required steel uh, area using wood and armor so while you are clicking on this if this section is insufficient it will actually pop up and then let you know that the sections uh of the uh raft slab is insufficient all right but uh, we only have that because our section is sufficient we are not experiencing any punching okay so after we also check the soil pressure so soil pressure simply means uh, if the soil is weak at any point it will actually show us right but uh, everything is quite very uh all right with what we are doing right away so what we have to do is uh, we just have to navigate back to the uh, physical model since we are done with the analytical effect of a finite element uh, method successfully so we get back to the physical model click right there so this they don't see here okay so the what the next thing we'll do is to generate reinforcement for the foundations okay for us to do that we will get straight away to the modeling tab and then okay just first confirm that fe foundation analysis has been checked green check right there meaning it's being carried out okay so get back to the modeling tab and there's slash strips right there so in this last three dialog i want to show you something important here okay so the first thing in the general tab right there is the arrow which is directions one directions x and y right there okay these are the numbers of strips okay so as you are drawing the strips it will be showing right here okay then we come over to the type okay of strips we have the analytical strips right here we wouldn't use that we use fb strips right here and they use this option to fix band strips options this one we will be using so we are in the x direction so we have to select any point right there take a hand across the the first one click snap foundations and then hold the control key to have a straight line click to just have the bound okay being placed successfully right just like this okay so you see it doesn't take the whole area of the slab uh but uh, what we need to we can adjust it so just click on this uh, uh this uh, small uh, arrow sign right there this point where my cursor is and then pick the edge of this uh slab click on update to move the lines to that edge successfully pick that point again over to this side right just like this so we are okay with us the same thing we are in the same direction x so we have it also in this provisions click right here to have it placed and then use these options to adjust uh, that successfully update right there okay the same thing over to this side and update all right now which we move to the direction y in the vertical direction so pick point right here so 
I've, having placed that successfully, let me show us something. You will notice that our reinforcement has been drawn successfully. So we are having reinforcement running top and bottom right there. So it is white and diameter so uh, rebounds okay at spacing to 200 okay right there both top and bottom you can now see being generated successfully right there okay so the same thing we are going to be doing in the vertical directions so we have this successfully so you can use the split bound options to actually shift and adjust that successfully to fit in line with the area bounded by the floating raft foundation successfully pick this point and then all the way up right there and placed your hand right there okay so use these options again pick there okay and update and then pick this point again all right sorry escape that pick this and that point update so you have this so you're now having a real bars okay so you can close this right away we are done with the strips okay so we have our rebar so you can now see it with rebar running in that directions and this direction so this foundation has been designed successfully all right so you can now navigate to the 3d and then you see what you've done so far so you have something of this kind okay so how about the reinforced concrete columns we can't go into designing that right away so we need to navigate to the story one expand this you can see it is showing a kind of a nullified analysis, uh, you know, a sign having this gray sign right there. So you have to use these options over to this uh, dialogue where you can carry out the interactive design using the bash mode. So as well, the uh, the shower having generated reinforcements as well. So use this bash mode column design. So and then reset all back to calculate. Okay, so. Give the program some circles and then this is going to carry out the uh, uh, design and reinforcement for all of the structural members. So it is completed successfully. Click on the close and then have everything been designed successfully, just like this. Okay, so click on the uh, close options. So, okay, so you will see we are able to carry out the foundations design of this uh, structure successfully if you wouldn't understand or you need any question you can drop it in the comment sections as well you can join the group okay the group chat okay the link in the description of this video so you can also ask questions right in the group and then be able to get or access this book as well okay so we bring uh, the presentations to a stop in the next presentation we'll be looking at the connection design of this uh, steel uh, uh members of this bridge successfully so stay connected don't forget to like subscribe and then stay tuned stay safe okay see you in the next presentation thank you and god bless bye for now